Right, well, we should begin. We've convened today to discuss a serious matter of damage to hospital premises. Yes, yes. I've uh, already apologised and agreed to make good any damage. If you would let me continue, please, Mr. Self. You destroyed hospital property in violation of our behaviour and conduct guidelines, which I know what it says. that any deliberate or willful damage to NHS property will be treated seriously and could constitute gross misconduct. However, any mitigating circumstances will be considered. Well, mitigate this. None of these events would have happened if... Sorry, I'm late. Uh, what's he doing here? Well, Mr Griffin is currently medical director and as such... But he's the reason why I'm in this position. Oh, so Mr Griffin made you destroy hospital property, did he? On the day of the incident, he spent the entire day undermining my professional judgment. My only concern was for patient safety. And for you. Now I've heard it all. You were seen in Albies with a drink in your hand. That's not relevant anymore. No, because it wasn't mine, as Donna has confirmed in her statement. If I may, I was concerned about your state of mind. I offered you support. You spent the whole day goading me. And um, well, have you got any proof? He tried to reschedule my electives without even having the courtesy to discuss it with me. As medical director, patient safety is paramount. Allowing Mr. Self to operate in his state... In what state? Being sober. ...would put patients and the reputation of the hospital at risk. You've been under considerable strain. The whole business with Kestrel... Ah! And there we have it, the truth. This is simply a vendetta against me, payback for Kestrel. What you did amounts to criminal damage. You're lucky we didn't call the police. Look, anyone would have cracked that day the way that I was bullied. Now, this hospital owes its staff a duty of care. And to allow senior management to abuse their power is unacceptable. Right, well, I don't think we need to hear any more, do you? You're taking him at his word. Do you consider this was a one-off incident? Yes, 100%. Well, has anyone else anything to add, Mr Griffin? Mr. Griffin. All right, well, if you'll give us a little time and then we'll ask you to return for our decision. Yes, thank you. So, in light of the information you provided, we are mindful to lift your suspension on condition that you sign up for stress management. Yes, yes, uh, of course. When can I start back? Well, I have no objection to... Wait. I'd like to propose further safeguards that will both help Mr Self and protect patients and the hospital. Well, no, no, we have talked about this and as far as I'm concerned... Under the Trust's is... legal guidelines, page 7, we can order Mr Self to submit to a blood test to rule out any relapse to... Addiction. Uh, no, you have no right. We have every right. And you say this isn't a vendetta? It's a way of covering risk. You can't seriously be considering this. Well, if we were to be sued... We're trying to help you. You self-righteous, screaming hypocrites! Uh, wait a minute! How dare you stand in judgment of me? The man charged with sexual harassment! Now you know that charge was with Medical me. manslaughter! I was clear! Bullying and the rest of it! You see, this is what I'm talking about. It's volatile, erratic behaviour. Listen, back off while you still got a career. Get your hands off me, Fletch. If karma doesn't get you, Griffin, I will. 